Hi, welcome to Travel Family Live. Hey. Today I will be asking Ryan some Sunny. questions <laughs> about currency Sunny. and traveling to Thailand. Yes, all things money on this episode. Oh. One more time. All things money on this episode. Mm. Okay, so what is the currency in Thailand? The official currency of Thailand is Thai baht. They come in denominations of 20, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. Okay, so that was a lot, ladies and gentlemen. One more time. So how much is 1,000 baht? So 1,000 Thai baht is about $30.51. Okay. It's about 30 bucks. That's not bad. Next. And wait, how much can you get for 1,000 baht? Well, 1,000 baht is the $100 bill of Thailand. Or actually, no, you, you $100 feels like a $100 bill in Thailand. But a thousand so let's keep it let's keep it simple a thousand baht a thousand baht is how much 30 bucks okay how much is 100 baht 100 baht and that's more of like the staple three dollars and five cents usd yes ladies and gentlemen usd so 100 baht is about three dollars okay and how much is 50 baht uh 50 baht is half of that so let me see i think a dollar and 53 cents so yeah a buck 50. Wow. Okay. And how much is 500 baht? 15 bucks. So, and to put that in perspective, like a massage for both of us is about 500 baht. We both get like a foot massage for an hour. And they usually so it's like 250 500. each. So that's 500 Thai baht, which converts to $15 yeah, 15 USD. USD. Can you imagine? Where, where, where can you get a massage Maybe for two people for $15? For $15. You could buy the lotion. Yeah, no, you cannot, my friend. <laughs> no. Spoken like someone who hasn't done that. Spoken <laughs> like a guy that doesn't buy lotion. No. And 20 baht. Okay, how much is 20 baht? 20 baht is about 63 cents US. So 20 Thai baht, this is 63 cents USD. With this, you can get a soda, maybe a snack. Like, uh, yeah, right. You can get a bottle of water. A bottle of water is like seven, seven baht. Six baht. Six baht. Some chips. So. The money goes pretty far if you spend it wisely. Depends, depends. <laughs> All right, so the currency in Thailand <laughs> is Thai baht. It's the local currency of Thailand. It's accepted everywhere, preferred actually. Oh yes, this is a preferred cash by the way, guys. So your credit debit cards will work, but mostly like if you're going to the malls and more touristy areas, but it's heavily advisable to carry cash on you. Oh, actually, yes. You can use your debit card, but they prefer cash. And if you don't have cash with you, you're more than welcome to use any of the ATMs and put in your debit card and uh, just withdraw. But there's a fee, of course. Yeah, usually there's a little bit of a fee. Sometimes like we have a dual fee, like our bank, because we're using an international bank. Hush, hush. Yes, our bank. yes, our <laughs> bank. Uh, we'll get like a $5, you know, ATM charge from our bank and then the local atm will charge you like a minimal fee of like so like a double dollars. charge if you're pulling out cash so it's best to bring cash yeah. now how much to bring that's what we're gonna get into <laughs> so <laughs> definitely what is uh, what is the conversion rate so currently you know the conversion rates they fluctuate based on the markets and what's going on but as of right now of this video one dollar one us dollar is equal to about 32 thai baht and just to show you how things kind of fluctuate, when we first got here a few months ago, it was about 37, 36, 37 Thai baht to one US dollar. So and you said now it's how much? 32. So, so is that little, good or bad? Uh, you kind of get a little like less bang for your buck, but it's still the money goes pretty far over here in Thailand. So in layman's terms? One dollar, 32 baht. And uh, you could also bring cash with you. Is cash accepted? One more time. How much is one dollar? 32 Thai baht. 32 Thai baht. Okay, so hold on. What can I do with 32 Thai baht? Well, you could get a, or to give you some perspective, a can of Coca Cola, my favorite, <laughs> is about 10 <laughs> Thai baht, right? So, like 20 cents? Uh, no. I think when we get a strawberry soda, it's 20 baht. It's 20 baht, so about 80 cents. You can get a you can get soda. Or... No. At oh, 7 Eleven, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven baht? No, at 7 Eleven, a uh, water could be six baht. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, the money definitely goes far. You could get like a beautiful bowl of ramen for 250 baht, you know, and that's more or less like how much would that be? It's like six bucks. No hablo inglés. No hablo inglés. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> arts, languages. Yes. Nah. So the two ways you could convert your currency is the first way Maria mentioned. You could go to an ATM. Listen, I just go, hey Siri. <laughs> yeah, you go to your regular ATM. You could use your debit, Visa, Mastercard. Which let's 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 do that. What did you say? Two hundred and fifty baht, right? Okay, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Two hundred and fifty Thai baht to USD. Seven dollars and sixty-two cents. All right, so that's a lot of money, though. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty. If you guys go to Terminal Twenty One, that money will stretch. Oh yeah, yeah. Like two hundred fifty for a premium dish, but you could also spend fifty-five baht and get a beautiful bowl of noodles and like chicken pho that I got. Oh today. wait, we just had. Yeah, yeah. How yeah, much so was that? We went to uh, like Lotus. A it is a supermarket. Cents. Yeah, it's a supermarket Lotus, and it has a uh, food court. So how much was your uh, food again? It was about fifty-five baht. So. I'd probably say like a, a dollar or sixty something. Yeah, I think my uh, lemon tea was like ten baht. <laughs> there you go. So the money does stretch. The money does stretch. Um, so Thailand is cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, <laughs> Thailand is cheap, but it cheap. can get pricey depending on what you're doing, especially here in the city in Bangkok. Yes, a uh, good good rule of thumb is sort of you know Western life, Western price. Yes, actually they that's another video, but the food <laughs> we should do one for that one too. <laughs> food vlog. The more but if you more there is a foods. American food here like the pizza, the spaghetti, the steak. Oh, the steak is expensive. Oh yes, they have a really good KFC over here. Kind of. Oh, there's steak. KFC. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a little spicy, but it's good. very spicy. Pet pet. Yes, but uh, the kids have their staples too. They have their McDonald's. Burger ah, food. there's McDonald's. There's Burger so, King. I, but also and no my kids don't eat that here <laughs> now I do cook. they accept u.s cash in thailand no. no no they don't but what you can do to save some money on the atm fees and the withdrawal fees is you could take out some u.s money and when you land in thailand you could take it to a currency exchange but they charge you there too don't they uh a little bit but sometimes you get more favorable rates so you can convert the money so yes, but like at the airport hand. was it more because we did that too and was it better to go at the airport and get the rate change or did we after we landed and we got another uh we had american cash remember when we went to that bank and we changed american money to thai money oh yeah well so it's better so to, which one was better i think which one had the, the better rate the local the local exchange rate down the street was a little better i think the airport ones you don't get as much of a favorable so payment. it's more expensive if you change your money at the airport but which you can the, do but yeah, if you need money like you just got off the plane and whatever reason you know it's better to go get some Thai bot in your hand so at the airport stop off at the currency exchange exchange some of your US money or pounds or whatever you might have to Thai bot so you'll be okay because sometimes a lot of the taxis or different services is cash only and we're used to uber and stuff being like on debit cards credit cards but things like you know uh, transportation is cash unless you're like me and you order a move me which that does accept you credit card or debit card so you pay with your debit card but then it has like a credit system and however many times you use it it'll slowly deduct of whatever you're using yeah so what's a move me it's like a tuk tuk but it's electric <laughs> Oh yeah, that'll be awesome. And then what else did we use? Oh, BTS, we pay cash. So the BTS uh, SkyTrain. We haven't taken the MRT yet. I've been meaning to. No, the MRT is sort of like an underground. Yeah, like, isn't yeah, that cool? Like, we didn't you know. know. Cash <laughs> is sort of king, or should we say? And when we take a uh, grab for the taxi, that's also cash. <laughs> oh, and speaking of, when you do take a taxi and they say highway, uh, most likely or more than likely there will be a f extra. 50 baht um charge because of the highway yeah so yes definitely cash is a uh, cash is king here <laughs> yeah cash is preferred but you have many options to get cash like we mentioned you have the atm currency exchanges uh that's about it actually <laughs> i think so <laughs> yeah so but the atms are always going to be welcome they'll welcome you you're going to you know, you stick your card in just a little bit of a fee and just the uh, thailand is cheap thailand is affordable but thailand is a, it Anywhere in the world is it as expensive as you make it, you know? If you choose to buy Western <laughs> I think brands, he's... To, well, yes. Also, Western no, options, if you know. keep getting Thai massages. Oh, well, no. Thai massages are actually, uh, like... 250 no, baht 250 baht was a fit was a foot massage i yeah, think a so little you bit you can get like a thai massage a great thai massage for like, <laughs> we're actually going to post a video of us getting one for about seven bucks i mean how much does it cost back home to get a thai massage or just a regular massage for an hour 
Let us know. Like fifty, a hundred dollars. Something. But right. you let me know in the comments, America. America. <laughs> all right, but that was always funny. If you guys have any questions, you know, I know when you're traveling with the family, you have to be smart with your money. <laughs> and even though Thailand is a great option for a family vacation, uh, just oh you know, yeah, budget. we travel with kids. There's a party of seven with us five kids yeah so some tips that we use as a big family to help us save a little money when we're traveling is we usually uh eating out is nice but also cooking at home helps the kids you know it helps their tummies it, i cook yeah you can or save a little actually you can save a little money like cooking at home you save a little money you can go to the supermarkets for your no because big c can be a little pricey too yes and so. lotus is pricey too usually when we go there because we are such a large family I don't, do we go there like bi-weekly or weekly? Weekly, bi-weekly. We try so. to go bi-weekly, but veggies I know is weekly, fruits is weekly, and protein is bi-weekly depending on how we're doing. But uh, that can get a little pricey. I know for Big C we spend about anywhere between four to 6,000 Thai baht. So let's, let's pull that up. But if you're a little more adventurous, you could avoid the supermarkets and you could always just go to like the street vendors or the that's like 183 dollars oh yeah so a family of seven we spent about maybe and we get groceries for the week and we eat pretty good it's like ground beef steak chicken breast chicken fillets um sour cream we even have like eggs bread the usual stuff to stay cheese home. milk cheese, beans sour apples cream, grapes tortillas. oranges strawberries <laughs> tortillas she said tortillas. <laughs> a lot of mexican stuff uh, Mexican. Oh, yes, or Hispanic. Por favor. Internacional. Internacional, sí. Internacional. Ah, mira, te debo decir en español. Yes. A ver, let me see. Oh, and Thailand is an international city, so you could actually Oh, yes, find just today your, I met someone that was visiting cravings. from Spain. Oh. Yeah. There you go. So the supermarkets, you could find some of your home staples, you know, like we find olive oil, olives, capers, like different stuff in the supermarkets. and. Alcaparras. Oh. Oh, so yeah, Western Aceitunas. Life, Western Life, Western Price. So some of those things are a little more pricey when you go to buy your like Western staples. Like really olive fine. oil could be a little more pricier. Espagueti, que más? But, ah, frijoles. They have frijoles negros, frijoles rojo. Yeah, yeah. So we anything about to. money. Um, general, it's not, this is not Thailand specific, you know. Always carry what you're comfortable losing, right? Don't, don't carry all your eggs in one basket. Because it's crazy. Uh, just the other day, you know, you're kind of caught up in Thailand. You're having fun. I left my wallet on the counter. I was at 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is going to be your best friend. And, you know, you kind of... That's what I'm saying. Don't carry... You know, keep your important stuff on your chest. But your money, sometimes you get caught up. Sometimes you might be having too much fun. So don't load up too much that you're not willing to lose. Well, have- that's about it, you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we covered any questions that you had or... Um, let us know in the comments if we answered all your questions. If we didn't, then we'll try to follow up on you guys. And thank you my, for watching. All right. Take care, guys.